Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. Throughout my tutorials I will teach you Java using just Notepad and the command prompt. The order in which my tutorials are organized on both my website at javacjava.com and my YouTube playlist is designed to maximize learning by building on concepts from prior tutorials. This tutorial is about the length method inside of the string class. I'm going to open up my web browser to javacjava.com, my website, select begin. I'm going to scroll all the way down here to the string length method. Here's a signature for the length method. It contains no parameters and returns an int data type. In this tutorial, I will discuss the length method. The length method simply returns the number of characters in the string, and all characters in Java are Unicode, by the way. So for example, I've got string apples equals apples, int i equals apples dot length, right? And that equals six. String oranges equals new string oranges, int x equals oranges dot length, right? So by invoking the dot length method there, it will return back 7. It is noteworthy to mention that an array has a variable named length. It is easy to confuse the two. A string object has a method dot length, right? With method parameter, no method parameters in there. That returns the number of characters in a string. And an array has a public instance variable dot length that returns the number of elements in an array. Okay, let's come down here, highlight this little bit of source code, control C to copy or right click and select copy. The browser off screen. I've got a shortcut to the command prompt on my desktop, but if you don't, you can create one really quick by right clicking, selecting new shortcut, CMD, next and finish. Okay, let's go ahead and open that up here. Type in Java C, uh, which is a Java compiler command. You should see all this stuff scroll by. If you get an error message, go ahead and watch my tutorial on installing a Java development kit. You want to make sure you get that installed and configured properly before continuing. CLS to clear the screen, CD space backslash, CD is short for change directory, and backslash tells it to go to the root. I'm going to make, make a Java folder using the MD command. I already have that, but if you don't, it'll create it for you. And I'm going to make another folder here called um, string length. Change directories to the string length folder. And I'm going to notepad string length.java. String length.java is going to be the name of my source code file, also known as a compilation unit. Okay, yes. Let's get this up here. Paste it all in here. Okay, inside my main method entry point, I've just got three simple little, well, basically six statements that do three little tests here. I'm going to go ahead and clear my screen, compile this, and run it to start off with. Okay, and so basically what we've got here is um, string apples equals apples, and then I'm printing out apples plus the string literal length equals apples dot length, right? Six. Oranges, right? New string oranges, and oranges plus the string literal length equals oranges dot length, seven. Okay, now I'm making a, a char array here called oranges2, and I'm initializing that to all these uh, character literals here, basically oranges inside of a, a um, character array. And then I'm displaying the string literal oranges2.length plus oranges2, oranges2length, and then plus oranges2.length. Now here dot length is not a method, right? It's an actual variable, an instance variable as a matter of fact, a public one. So. And this particular, um, so you can see the difference there, right? Up here for the string class, right? We're um, invoking the dot length method. Down here, we're just using the dot operator directly get the value of an instance variable, right? And displaying that to the console, oranges to the length seven, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this, bring that off screen and leave you with some final thoughts here. So one strategy that I regularly use to solidify my knowledge of Java is to browse, browse through the actual source code. Now due to some language in their copyright file, I can't actually show you the source code in my videos. Um, however, the source code is contained inside of a file called src.zip located in the folder where your JDK is installed. So for example, down here, uh, mine is installed on my C drive, program folds, files, Java and then JDK 1.8045. Your folder name will be different depending on what version you're running there. Probably some version in the future, I'm sure. But here's the SRC. You can see it's a compressed zip folder, and you can go ahead and double click and open that right up there. There, but they've got this copyright file that says I can't display any of those stuff in in any sort of like published video or whatnot there. But inside of there, right, you'll see the same structure that you've got like 
package java uh, dot lang is automatically imported and that's where the string class actually resides in the java dot lang folders there so you can go inside of this this compressed zip file and and go to the java package and then the lang package which are just nothing more than folders in there and then look at the string dot class and i recommend looking at the string dot class using a program called notepad plus um, plus Notepad++ is fantastic. I wouldn't recommend doing it with Notepad just because there's so much in those files and it'll highlight stuff for you there. Now I don't use Notepad++ during my tutorials just because it's, it's a lot smarter than regular old Notepad, so I try to teach stuff at the lowest level possible. But it's definitely worth your while. Go in there and do a, a search for the uh, length, like L-E-N-G-T-H, and then a, maybe a left parenthesis there, you know, and that, that should be able to get you to, to where you can do it. But I highly recommend browsing through the whole thing. It's actually quite interesting to see how they, what, it, what they've done under the hood there. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. And that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.